Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my unboxing and review of this foam sensor pump from Simple Human. So we picked up one of these a few weeks ago, and in a time where hand washing and touchless surfaces is a big focus, this seemed like something pretty cool to have. Plus, it's a little piece of cool technology. So stay tuned and I'll unbox and tell you a little bit more about this neat little device and what I think about it. So initially, my wife picked up one of these and placed it in the kitchen. And after using it for about a week, we decided that we liked it so much that we bought a couple more for all the bathrooms in our home. Anyways, let's start by unboxing this thing and see what we get. Now if you order this device directly from Simple Human, you get the benefit of a 45 day risk free return if you end up not liking this device. It also comes in pretty solid and durable packaging. And if you order it directly from Simple Human's website, you get the extra benefit of selecting from a variety of different scents for the included refills. With the package, you pretty much get everything you need to get started. It comes with a USB magnetic charging cable and unfortunately no power brick. It also comes with a pick in case you need to clean out the nozzle or pump tube. It also comes with your standard documentation, instructions, and reading material. There's also a referral link, which I'll leave in the description section below. And in my case, I didn't have any issues with first time usage and did not require it to pump seven times before the soap started dispensing. But that's not saying it would be different for everyone. And it comes with the dispenser itself, which is made up of lightweight plastic and aluminum. And as you can see, it also has a built-in sensor. There isn't really much to this except a tiny circuit board and a series of pumps and sensors surrounded by an O-ring to keep the device watertight. And this package also comes with two refillable soap cartridges. And if you're wondering, some of the soap cartridges are plastic, but the more expensive ones like these Nest fragrances are glass and come two to a package and can differ based on what you select. We like variety, so we chose different scents. Installation is pretty easy. You just peel off the sticker at the top of the refill cartridge, line it up with the connectors in the dispenser, insert and push by adding a little bit of pressure until it fits snug in place. And what's cool is under the hidden cover, there's a power button, a button to manually dispense soap, and a contact point for the USB magnetic charger which should automatically snap in place when the charger is placed near it. I initially didn't read the instructions, like a typical guy, which recommended that you use the included pick to clear any kind of obstructions in the pump tube before inserting the cartridge. Oh well. This standalone unit retails for about $60 if you buy it directly from Simple Human's website. You can also buy it from Amazon, but I think it's currently sold out there. So we ended up buying it directly from the site itself and paid about $100 for a package that comes with two different soap cartridges with different scents along with the dispenser itself. And what I like about buying it from their site is that you get the option of selecting from different scents. Although most of the scents that we tried have smelled nice so far. Anyways, if you're interested in buying one for yourself, check out the description section below where I'll link both the Amazon link and the Simple Human link to where you can buy this product. What really sold me about this device was the technology bundled into it. Not only is it touchless and sensor activated, but you can also control the amount of soap foam it dispenses based on the distance and time you hold your hand under it. The touch-free application helps to prevent the spread of germs and based on the distance you hold your hand from the nozzle will determine how much or how little soap foam is dispensed. This is great for people with different sized hands. This dispenser has a patented air induction pump technology that's designed to inject just enough micro bubbles into the liquid soap to produce a thick and rich creamy foam. It also comes in a number of different finishes, either brush chrome, polished chrome, rose gold, or brass. And in our case, we got the chrome finish because it matches all of our other decor, which is something I can thank my wife for. The other piece of this technology that I find convenient about this soap dispenser is the easy charging, which along with the other controls are nicely hidden under a matching discrete cover with a matching finish. It has a magnetic charging port that connects easily to a magnetic cable, 
and each full charge lasts up to three months, which means this can sit on any surface wirelessly for long periods of time without having a cable sticking out of it. The dispenser is also waterproof and has an IP66 rating, which means cleaning it is as easy as running it under the faucet. And each refill, as seen in the unboxing, is easily installed and makes for a quick replacement of the cartridge without making any kind of mess. I assume that the cartridges themselves are where the company will make most of its money, with the standard foam cartridges costing around $7 each, and the more expensive name brand specialized fragrances like the ones we're using costing around $20 to $24 each. There's also these refill pouches you can purchase in packs of three or six for around $21 to $39. And if you really want to be frugal, then you can actually reuse the cartridges themselves, wash them out, and use your own soap refills. But in that case, I would recommend that you buy foam-based soaps to make sure you aren't damaging the unit. After all, it is a $60 unit. Aside from this foam sensor pump, there's also a liquid soap sensor pump as well. But generally, we like the foam-based soaps better. One piece of advice though, and something that I myself learned. Foam soap is definitely more fun, but a lot of scientific studies have shown that it doesn't eliminate bacteria as effectively as liquid soap. And that's primarily because it comes out of the pump already as lather. Whereas the use of liquid soap builds up that lather as part of the hand washing process. So if you're going to buy this pump, it might be good to wash your hands a little bit longer. I do like the foam soap though, because it feels better on the hands, it's easier, and it rinses off much better without leaving that sticky residue. And it also doesn't leave a dripping mess that you have to clean up after. Now as you can see, specific to this unit itself, it's already stopped working. Now that could also be because we didn't fully charge it before using it. So the longevity of the battery is something that I'm going to have to test over time once I recharge this. And I'll have to get back to you on that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review and found it helpful. Now do I like this product? I think the fact that we have four of them laying around the house speaks for itself. And it definitely does make the hand washing process a lot more fun. And it is a pretty cool piece of technology, even though it's been around for some time. I myself love it and I think the scents are pretty neutral and nice. And at this point, I'd recommend it if you're looking for something that's hands-free and convenient. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you support this channel by smashing that like button and subscribing. As usual, also make sure you click that bell icon to get notified when I post new content. Let me know if you have one of these and what you think about it in the comments section below. And until next time, see ya.